say so. If they say, oh, we need to fix our immigration laws, they're like, oh yeah, you're racist. And then we can doesn't want to unite people, she just wants to cause more trouble for herself in America, so that's why Trump is trying to fix that law by trying to get people into, how do I say this, organized people, so that's why he wants to fix our laws and people are saying that he's racist, but really, he has to make a sacrifice for it, and that's why people just don't understand. They don't understand. Hillary wanted open borders, you recall that? And open borders means we're not Americans anymore. She wanted to give amnesty to to illegals, but without secured borders, she's giving amnesty to 600 million people from North America to South America. Is that, would that have been a good thing? Uh, no, that wouldn't be because, first of all, uh, there's other countries that are really hard to get into to become a citizen, but she's trying to make our country to like, but oh, we're open, just come inside, nothing's going to happen, but we really, we need to be also pretty strict with our laws, that's why she's just like, oh, bring anyone who wants to come and bring terrorists and bring drug dealers or bring rapists in, but that's why Trump wants to get rid of that. Very good, so Democrats are willing to bring in all riffraff from around the world. Who do you think these people would vote for? Who would vote for? Who would these people who came here because of open borders, because Hillary would have granted an amnesty to 600 million people from North America to South America, who do you think they would vote for? Hillary Clinton because they're afraid. Which party do you think they would vote for? Democrat party. So are you saying, and I'm going to take it a step further, that the Democrats would be willing to put the safety of America at risk for their own party? Could you say that's true? That would be true. Would you say that the Democrats uh, would make, cause mass employment of American citizens to give jobs to, under, to uh, new immigrants, and that's okay? No, that's not. So now we have a new sheriff in town. We have somebody that, what does he want to do to the borders? What, what does Trump want to do with the borders? He wants to make sure the law on us so that we can have a stricter comes to Korea's we can actually have people legal here. We can have the promise to enter this country legally so that we can walk into any jobs and do anything. So that's why when you get out of here, this is the whole thing. Very good. Now normally when Democrats falsely accuse people of being racist and always about the election that seems to happen. I'm not a politician, Julie Bush, both of them, back down. That scared them. They didn't like to be named racist. But it seems to be different with Trump. Does that mean Trump want to quit because he's falsely labeled a racist? No, because Trump wants to work hard. He doesn't want to listen to people who haters' opinions and be like, like for example, there's going to be a hater who says to him, you're a racist, you don't know how to do anything. He's going to be like, well, I know what I'm doing is correct. Most of America voted for me and I want presidency. So that means that I'm actually doing something right here. So doing something right, does that make him a leader or a follower? It makes him a leader. Now, the former president, Barack Hussein Obama, called himself a man who wanted to lead from behind. Do you, do, you, do you think, is Trump a leader or is he leading from behind? He's a leader, he's trying to become a point, he's trying to help us. But Barack Obama, he just needs to act like, me, I I used to be supporter of Barack Obama until I you know, started to get into politics more, until I realized that Barack Obama wasn't really doing the right thing. He wasn't trying to help us defeat ISIS. He wasn't trying to help us with the terrorist attacks. He was just like, oh yeah, let's be, let's be calm. Let's just act like nothing happened. But when really now, you know, ISIS got into a whole army. But Trump obviously wants to make our military number one. He wants to so he wants to basically defeat ISIS. He wants to defeat anyone who's an enemy in America. And look what happened here, basically. Very good. So he's not willing to offend people. The definition of fall. Uh, leading from behind that definition is a follower now so we can say Barack Hussein Obama was a follower 
Now, but who was he following? He was afraid to offend people. But who was he following? Was he following the American people, what's good for the American people, or was he following the global order, or the new world order, or George Soros? I mean, I don't know how to define, how would you define uh, who Obama was following? I think that Obama was just trying to make it basically stay calm and really, he doesn't understand that we need a strong leader, we don't need someone who's just going to make everyone get off easily, so that's why we need to, you know, have a strong leader, someone who is actually willing to be strict and actually, because like me, I've seen Trump's debates, I've seen the rallies, he does act like a pretty strict person, but like Obama, he's always like so... He's cool, isn't he? He's cool, he knows how to jive. Was he criticized by the press as much as Donald J. Trump was criticized? Is criticized? No. So, did, is it because Obama was not taking such controversial stands? Uh, yeah, Obama wasn't doing the things that were going to help us. He was just going his own way, thinking that his own way was going to help every single person here. But well, really, he's just bringing us more harm here. So. Well, it's funny, it happened under the regime of Jimmy Carter back in the 70s, it was before Reagan, uh, who let the military go who was a nice guy, a peanut farmer for Georgia, but he was a nice guy, he did not offend too many people, he wasn't controversial, he was not a leader, he, he led from behind also. And it's ironic, do you think it's ironic that after we had four years of Jimmy Carter, who was not following from behind, and now we had Obama following from behind, both times we had President Reagan follow Jimmy Carter, and now we have uh, uh, President Trump follow Obama. Is that? What, what, it's a historical com uh, a historical commentary. What, what, what would you say about that? Well, I would say that uh, definitely Barack Obama, I'm pretty sure that he was afraid that if he says something wrong, maybe he, people are going to start hating on him, but really, more and more after he started running... That's a good know, word. That's a good word. That's right. That's true. Uh, more and more he started running for these for eight years, so people were like, no, he's doing something wrong. We shouldn't start supporting him anymore. And that's why he started losing credits and everything, so... I don't think I think he's just like backtracking on someone. Like yeah, the presidents and that's why he's he wasn't strict. He wasn't trying to help us defeat ISIS. No. Do you recall, I, Obama was strict on something. I remember he used to lecture police all the time. At the funeral of a fallen officer, he tried to put the guilt trip on police officers. Now, he was being a leader. He was supposedly taking controversy, but did he piss off the press when he attacked police officers? Yes. But, okay, so you think, but Obama was, he was outspoken about that issue, about police officers. And so you can't say he was a total follower. He knew how to attack our police officers in the military. Is that a good thing? Well, I mean, if the police didn't really help the fallen officer who who died, if they didn't want to help him, if they just like, you know, if that officer who died actually went to go fight and he got killed, then that means that officer's a hero. Then that means that Obama was a leader on that, but we still need him a leader for everything than just one simple order, so. Very good. So a good leader is not afraid to take crap from anyone. Would you say that? Yes, basically Trump. He's not taking the crap from these protesters, like the violence that's going on. He's just like, no, I don't care what you people think. I have supporters. I have people who actually support me. Kids who support me and parents who support me. So that's why he's like, okay, now he's up doing something good. But if he knew, if he thought he was doing something wrong, then that means that he must have thought he was doing something wrong, which means that he knows he's doing something wrong. Yeah. But there are leaders out there who don't really understand politics. They're just like, oh yeah, just because he said that we don't fix immigration laws, he's racist. But really, they're saying stuff about him. this race. They're saying that his wife is illegal when really she's here legally. She actually is a citizen. So she went through the immigration process legally. They tried to the narrative that we are anti-immigrant. Are we? Is is our party anti-immigrant? Yes. yes. No, we're not. No, we're not. No, we're not. I'm a Latino. No, not. I'm a Latino. Who stood at the naturalization ceremony with signs welcoming all legal immigrants to America? Five thousand. We've done it several times. We we welcome legal immigrants, and we welcome people who come to the American family the right way, go through the immigration process, sometimes taking ten and fifteen years. Uh, but if you don't go, if you have no respect for our 
constitutional laws that require an immigration process, that's not a good thing, is it? respect for the people that did it for the example, right way. Like, my dad and my mom, they actually came here legally. Yeah. They yeah. actually yeah. have citizens. I think my dad's been here for about 25 years. Yeah. So, Would you mind? And my mom's been here for about 20 years. Yeah, yeah. So that makes that kind of respect for the constitutional laws. Yeah, yeah, not right now. They're just like, you know, hey, this can is I hold the flag. I'm just going to do what I want. I don't care about the people. And they decided to come here illegally and not here. That's beautiful. And I have to go back to one of our earlier issues. Now Trump's leader, now I gotta ask you, is he so confident because he has millions of people behind him? Or is he is he confident because he has the truth behind him? Now what I'm gonna say, is he willing to piss off his own supporters, yes or no? Uh, he's willing to do whatever it takes to become the president. Woo now thank God, this is so so refreshing to hear. You have you come from a good family, good parents, legal immigrants to America. You know, God bless you. Thank you, you for, thank you for doing the right thing. We appreciate that very much. You know, let's give you all a big hand. Yay! 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 But you brought and you you brought your son into the American culture. He, he, he's, he fully understands American culture. What a good father. What a good parents. You know, and you you're educated. Twelve twelve years old. Tell, tell me your name again. Keanu. Keanu. Twelve years old. He gets it. He gets it. American culture. Why this great freedom we have, it's not a privilege. It's something you have to earn to become a citizen. So, and he's, he's watched his parents go that process. He's become a proud American citizen and we're very grateful for that. We have a comment from Ingrid. Ingrid like to say something. Do you want me to ask you questions or do you, wanna, do you want to uh, make a comment? Okay, well, here, come stand right here. This is Ingrid. She's a passionate Trump supporter. She's very well educated. She's lived in many and traveled to many countries. She's seen communism and she appreciates profoundly yet this country. So tell us what you have to say. Well, I'm very proud to be a Latina for Trump. Uh, I love President Trump and um, why? Because he's for law and order and uh, he is protecting our country. That is his first priority, protecting Americans. And um, the party's over for the illegal aliens. You have to come here legally to United States of America. And uh, there are people waiting for years and years to get, in to get into USA. And uh, they're doing it the right way. My mother's from Mexico and uh, came in here with her family and they had to wait to, to arrive here. So anyways, um, he won, we won. And that's the bottom line, we won. And uh, anybody who doesn't like it, who doesn't understand, well, you need tough bananas. You gotta get educated. You gotta uh, not watch CNN. CNN is uh, it's completely against President Trump. No matter what he does, he will, they will never give him any credit. And um, everything, they, they distort uh, lies and, um, and they... Um, News. False accusations all the time against President Trump, and um, but you have to watch Fox News. People say, oh, well, that's only for the right. Well, guess what? That's the only station in the United States that will cover him fairly, honestly, accurately. It's Fox News, and one of the shows is Sean Hannity. He's on from 7 to 8 and 10 to 11. Watch it. You have to have cable and uh, judge for yourself. Because if you're watching CNN, ABC, CBS, NBC, MNBC, reading the LA Times, the New York Post, the New York Times, the Huffington Post, they're all against President Trump. They're every day saying, writing lies and lies, distorting everything that he does and says. So if that's the source, well, you guys are doomed because you're never going to hear the truth. You have to start watching Fox News from New York, the national station. Bill O'Reilly and Sean Hannity. They're great shows that you will, ha you will um, learn and you will get new information, proper information, and they will keep you exactly what he's doing every day. So I hope, I hope there's a lot of people hearing what I'm saying. Fox News, Sean Hannity, 7 p.m. and uh, 10 p.m. Please watch it. And if you do not have cable, uh, go on uh, go, um, YouTube and uh, type Sean Hannity, H-A-N-N-I-T-Y, and uh, just give him a chance. Give that show a chance. Give him a chance, and you will see for yourself. Things will start to make sense to you. You will learn. You will get educated, and you will know uh, truth and facts. So um, 
For the Trump supporters, we are very happy because we won, America won, and people that uh, wanted Hillary Clinton to win, well, you guys lost. Why? Because she was an evil woman and God punished her. She she put on the most the most evil, evil and the a vicious campaign we've ever seen in the history of the United States. And God punished her for all her lies and all her criminal acts. And I'm glad she lost and I hope she goes to jail because President Trump might put her in might uh, uh, put her in prison and she will deserve it. And and uh, she she doesn't have a chance. And the, uh, the alt-left is very, very upset, very angry, very vindictive uh, because they lost and they're trying to destroy President Trump because he's doing a great job and he's a strong leader. See, President Trump is a strong leader and uh, the Democrats, liberals are afraid of that because he's going to actually change our nation. Our nation will change and he will win in four years, by the way. He will win. Mark my word today. He will win, and uh, so in eight years, our country will be very different. It will be very pro-America, America first, Americans first. Right now, it's a little bit on the other side, but it's leaning slowly, slowly to the other side. So very excited for President Trump to be our president for 